Hi and welcome, my name is The Nordic Dane and today we're going to talk about Elden Ring for PlayStation 5. Now, Elden Ring is the first kind of Souls game that I've ever played before. It's usually not a game that looks super enticing to me personally. That being said, it was donated to me on my stream. If you don't already know, I stream a bunch of variety of video games on Twitch. My handle is The Nordic Dane, and it was here one of the members of my community actually donated this game to me. Shout out to Count Cranberry. And the only thing that I actually knew about any of these Souls games, and especially Elden Ring, was first of all, a lot of people had said that it was a really good game. Second of all, they also mentioned the difficulty level is extremely high and you need to be very tactical when it comes to fighting. And before this game, I had never had any experience with any of the Souls games, so this was kind of a challenge for me. The developer of this game is From Software, yes, that is their name. And they're also the ones who made the other Souls games. Now, Elden Ring is an open world game, and I mean really open world, like this map is huge. Horace Trump would say it. Huge. Not a bad one. Huge. It packs a lot of action and it has this strategy to the actual action. You can't just mash buttons and hope for the best. No, you have to particularly think about how to defeat each enemy. And each boss is also super difficult because each boss is different from the other ones. Therefore, it's a mixture of you trying to be really specific about how to attack and not getting hit because getting hit in this, ouch, that hurts. One of the reasons why I have a hard time with this game is the patience that it takes to kill a boss. Even though you might get the right way of defeating a boss, it's super difficult to defeat the boss because you still do very, very little damage to the bosses. You choose your class, your height, all of that jazz. And from there, I honestly don't even remember there being a real story. There's something about the fact that you meet a monster and you're supposed to die to that monster no matter what. You then get resurrected. And from there on, you have to defeat this overlord or something, something. And in order to get through that overlord, you basically have to go through a bunch of different bosses. And honestly, I, I don't know what the purpose is. I spent 32 hours on this game and I don't understand the story. And that's kind of why I feel like I don't like this game a lot. I'm a very typical, like, I like a story. I like uh, getting involved in the characters, but this one doesn't have either. And yeah, I'm sure there's someone out there saying, oh, what are you talking about? If you just followed along or played a little bit more, there would be more story to it. But from what I saw, at least it was, there wasn't really any. When it comes to the visuals in this game, it has two modes. It has a quality mode and it has a frame rate mode. The quality mode, you have 4K, but you stick with around 30 FPS, whereas the frame rate goes up to about 4K, but you are more looking at a 50 frames per second. I would definitely recommend that if you were to play this, you play it on frame rate because it is an action game and it will just make things look more smooth. Even though it's on PlayStation 5, there isn't that much quality when it comes to the actual visuals of this game. I also don't have really nice things to say about the sound. I do love the menu sound. It is in the kind of mystery kind of vibe. That's really great. But the music outside of the menu is really repetitive. It's really not that great. I don't like it. It's boring. It's trying to be somber without it actually being somber. It's trying to be scary without it actually being scary. And it just seemed like an annoying thing to have on the side. It also doesn't help them when you're in battle. All of these sounds of different explosions and sword fights and the monsters roar all basically collect into one annoying sound. And if you are defeating multiple enemies at the same time, they just all cross over each other and just becomes a whole mumble of sounds and it, it, it annoys my ears. When it comes to game mechanics, the game is super difficult. This game is probably the most difficult game I've ever played if you don't account for maybe like Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. If you haven't watched that video already, I have a review of that one up here. And if you like more challenging games, I would definitely recommend that more than I would recommend playing this game. This game is all about timing and being really patient, which in its way is an, its own little niche. And I can understand why some people like it just because of that. But for me, it's just, I, yes, I like a challenge. I usually play all my games on like hard or expert, but with this game, it just becomes so annoying. And I, I, I hated it. Because you die a lot, you can easily get stuck 
within this one boss battle or uh, just an area that you're trying to clear. Luckily, the map is huge and you don't have a linear progression. So if you are having trouble right here, you can go to somewhere else and maybe there the monsters are easier. But with all of that, you can also sometimes go in and meet some monsters who are super, super easy because you have been grinding somewhere else. To be fair, I played 32 hours of this game and I did not finish the game. And honestly, I don't believe I ever will. This was definitely not a game for me. It was not a game that I planned on trying anyway. The only reason why I tried was because it got donated to me. That being said, it was a good challenge. I must admit that. And I can understand why some people really, really like this game. But for me, with the story not being there, the sounds just being really bad and annoying, it just became more of a frustrating game to play rather than something that I actually enjoy. And I honestly believe I would not have played that much if it was because I'm also kind of stubborn and I wanted to progress in the game. Therefore, I'm gonna give this game two out of six Viking helmets because I'm close to one, but I can understand why some people would like the game. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please go and like the subscribe button and go and follow me on Twitch. My handle is the Nordic Dane. And as always, be safe.